Well, our first in headlines tonight, after 25 long years, the government of India has finally woken up. The Prime Minister has reconstituted a new group of ministers headed by Home Minister P. Chidambaram to look into the Bhopal tragedy. Now this GOM will look into the compensation aspect and the criminal nature of the probe into the tragedy. But the opposition is already crying foul. They're saying that the government is only adding insult to injury. Kartike Sharma with the day's top story. A paltry two years for 20,000 deaths and two decades of misery. A verdict that has outraged a nation and the entire world. Angry, disappointed, let down by their own government, residents of Bhopal took to the streets demanding justice. Confronted with massive criticism and under immense public pressure, the Indian government seems to have finally woken up from its 25-year-long slumber. The centre has reconstituted a group of ministers to look into the criminal dimensions of the Bhopal gas tragedy. The GOM is expected to look at what changes to make in law with respect to criminal liability. The panel will also look into the issue of compensation paid to the victims. Headed by the Union Home Minister P. Chidambaram, the GOM will have eight other members. These include Union Law Minister Abhira Pamoyli, Environment Minister Jairam Ramesh, Union Health Minister Gulam Nabi Azad, Science and Technology Minister Prithviraj Chavan, Road, Transport and Highways Minister Kamal Nath, Chemicals and Fertilizers Minister M.K. Aragiri, Kumari Shelja, and Union Urban Development Minister Jaipal Reddy. The opposition meanwhile claims that the GOM has not been set up to serve any purpose except to calm tempers. Holding meetings, forming committees, they don't constitute a step forward. Sometimes they constitute step backwards. That is to say to delay any decision. An argument that has found support from legal experts as well. I don't think anything is going to happen. I don't even think these persons are going to go to jail at any stage. Well, what they can do is they can double the compensation and pay. They made such a shameful settlement. One tenth of what compensation a person should get, that's what they gave them. Probably less than that. Well, give them another thousand, two thousand crore rupees. Give people compensation. Now we are coming out of New York and proceeding towards Long Island where it seems Mr. Anderson lives. While the government is waking up to the tragedy in India, headlines today got on to Warren Anderson's trail in New York. We travel to his luxurious house in Bridgehampton in Long Island where he's been leading a life of luxury instead of facing trial in India. The group of ministers on Bhopal is a classic case of too little and too late. By reconstituting the GOM, government wants to make up by increasing the compensation and recreating a new law. But the pertinent question is that why did then Congress government allow Anderson to flee until that fundamental question is not answered, this case cannot be put to rest. With camera person Alok Bhatnagar, Karthikeshama from Delhi, for headlines today.